A stack of presents. Yesterday I'm creating a stack of presents with cake. Well, it looks sick, you guys. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Quali Pops. My name is Lenny Kravitz. Let's get into this cake. Actually, before we get into it, I want you to think of the different present sizes that I created with cake. Imagine that you're receiving these as actual presents. And let me know in the comments what you want to be in each different box. Because I've been thinking about what I want. Now let's get into this video. Now to create this cake, I'm using three different size cake pans. I'm using a four inch square cake pan, a six inch, and an eight eight inch square cake pan. Now I really wanted stripes on the inside of my cake so starting with the smallest layer we got some blue, we got some funfetti, then we got more blue. Now for the middle tier we're going with funfetti, green, funfetti, then the last tier we got some pink, funfetti, and then pink. You'll see a stripe of funfetti at the end. You may not see it now but you know, it looks dope. Now this cake was pretty fun to make because there wasn't that much carving. I basically put it in the fridge, let it sit for a few hours, took it out and just strained out the sides with a serrated knife. I wish all my cakes were that easy, but they're not. Once I finished, it was time to start adding fondant. So we're starting with the largest tier first. Oh my god, it's so nerve wracking. It's so big. I haven't covered a cake like this in so long. But the technique I'm using is basically just pinching the fondant together at the corners to get this really nice edge and it works so well. Look how crisp those edges are. You know, the only problem I really had was that the corner at the top, it slopes down a little bit. I didn't know how to fix that. Um, if you guys have any ideas then let me know. The next part is just trying to make all of this fondant look like wrapping paper. I'm using a little bit of luster dust with some magic sauce. I've got a sponge and I'm just sponging on the magic sauce to give it this really nice shine. Then I started to add some white fondant to create snowmen. I thought this was going to be really easy and then me overthinking it made it hard because I could have just made like basic snowmen with just a face but no. I wanted some snowmen to be wearing earmuffs and then other snowmen to be wearing a beanie and a top hat. So I had to cut out all of these really small pieces. Now for the middle layer I totally got lazy. I just added on some snowflakes that I created with a fondant cutter. <laughs> For the smallest layer, I actually did a, do a little bit of work because I had to cut out different triangles to create Christmas trees. And I was okay with doing that because this is a smallest cake, the sides were small so I didn't have to cut that many triangles out. After that, I wrapped each of my presents with a Christmas ribbon. On all four sides, I just added the ribbon to the middle of the cake. Now this needed a lot more shine, so I'm adding some silver luster dust. Then it was time to stack. I, I was like super careful because I didn't want any of the silver luster dust to rub off. Now I added my last layer of cake and then I added a green fondant bow that I created. And voila, my stack of presents was complete. What do you think? Oh my god, I love it. I think this is my favorite Christmas cake so far. Um, but I, I always say that so I don't know if I'm telling the truth. Am I lying to myself? Am I telling the truth? I don't know. Now it's time to cut into this cake and I was very careful because I didn't want this to fall apart on me. <laughs> oh my god. Be careful guy. Don't ruin this. Look at that funfetti stripe you guys. That is gorgeous. I love the way that looks. Oh my god I made that. I made that. Wow. I hope I receive presents that are as nicely wrapped as this cake. I'd be so happy. I wouldn't even care what was inside. Yes I would. You know I would. <laughs> so what do you want in each of these gift boxes? Because I already know what I want. Like, first of all, everything's gonna be Star Wars themed. The largest box, I want a Mandalorian helmet. The middle box, I saw this while I was like scrolling through gifts. They've got like this miniature Millennium Falcon waffle iron. It's so cute. I want that. And then in the smallest box, I want some blue macaroons. Like, like, the ones that Baby Yoda was eating. Look at his tiny hands. Oh my god. Can you tell I'm like super obsessed with Star Wars right now? So let me know in the comments what you would want. Thank you for all the beautiful comments in my last video. I'm super glad you liked my haircut. I was very scared when I was getting it. My aunt cut my friend's hair and she wasn't paying attention to what he was saying he wanted. Can I have like a two on the sides? And like a four at the top? And she took the two and just like shaved it all back. 
<laughs> and if I had the same sort of disaster, I get to stay home so that nobody would see it. But that guy's an essential worker, so he had to go to work with his buzz cut. It was a good buzz cut, but it was a buzz cut nonetheless. It was so sad and so funny. Another question is, what are you guys doing over quarantine? How are you handling this? I'm telling you, this smile, sometimes it's just pretty fake. It's okay, everything's going okay. There's been some really low points in this pandemic, but I don't really want to stray away from them because I know that everyone's been going through it. But I gotta be strong, you know? for my baby boy. Well, I hope you, oh, you fell. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay safe, stay warm. I'll see you very soon. Peace.